Every poultry farmer have been hit by the skyrocketing prices of poultry feed of late. And one of the thoughts that I know have crossed your mind is about formulating your own feeds. But I feel that there's some information you need to have that I'm going to give you in this video before you formulate your own feeds. In today's video, I am going to discuss with you factors that you should consider and that affect the nutritional requirements and inclusion in various types of feed uh, for our poultry birds. I am going to explain why different chicken feeds must have a different nutrients. I believe this information is going to help you during formulation of your own feeds. So therefore, if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also make sure that uh, you hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video also hit the like button because that is very very helpful for our channel uh, the first factor is age when i talk of age i am referring to the growth stage of the chicken that you are rearing it could be chicks growers finishers that if it's for the broilers and before formulating the feeds make sure you put this into consideration because if you mess up with the nutritional compositions of the feeds at any stage of growth of your chickens, you may not get the uh, required outcome and this will lead to losses. For example, in layers, the amount of calcium that is needed by the birds during their uh, laying stage is not the one that is needed at the grower stage. And this is just an example of how different amount of nutrients are needed in each and every growth stage of our birds. Number two is the level of activity. The level of activity is determined by the kind of production. There are three common types of production systems in our poultry, in poultry farming. That is the intensive system, the semi intensive system and the free range system nutritional requirements for birds in these three types of system will be different for example in terms of energy requirements the free range birds need more energy than birds in the intensive system so as to cater for the movement from one point to another because free range birds will go uh, searching for the nutrients all over the place Therefore, as you formulate your own feeds, you must include a higher level of energy in the free-range birds. And number three is purpose. The purpose means the reason why you are keeping the chicken or what is the main reason of rearing uh, the chicken. Whether it's for eggs, for breeding purposes or as pet, this will affect the nutritional composition of the feeds to give to each category of the birds. For example, a farmer will spend a lot of money in well-formulated feeds uh, of uh, exact nutritional composition if he or she is keeping the birds as for, com uh, for commercial purposes. But if the farmer is putting the chicken for consumption, he or she may not care about high-end sources of nutrients. Number four is about a reproduction. There are farmers who keep breeder chicken. Uh, this means that they keep the chicken in order to produce eggs that will be used for incubation and hatching. Uh, the hens and the cocks should be fed feeds with a certain number of nutrient and composition different from other types of birds, that is layers or broilers. They should be fed feeds formulated to ensure optimum production at the reproduction stage. Uh, number five, another factor that will affect nutrient composition during feed formulation is the type of chicken. Different types uh, strains and breeds of chicken will require varying nutrient and feed quantities. The birds may be pure breed uh, and these breeds need high end nutritional composition in their diets. There is also the indigenous or the Kenyaji chicken and there is the hybrid chicken. All these categories have specific feed nutritional composition to meet their needs for purposes of production. And number five is about season. Chicken require different amounts of nutrient based on season. For example, chicken require more nutrients during the cold season than in the hot season. This is because during the cold seasons, they need to keep their bodies warm and some nutrients produce more heat during the process of digestion than other nutrients. And the seventh reason or the seventh factor that will affect nutrient composition during feed formulation is the energy levels in the feed. Different chicken feeds have different or varying amounts amounts of energy levels. Chicken tend to feed more if the feed have low 
uh, has low energy levels and they will eat less when the feed is packed with high amounts of energy therefore if you consider these seven factors then you are going to be able to uh, formulate your feeds in the correct way and you are going to meet the nutritional needs of, of your birds click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how the stinging needle powder can be fed to your chicken to increase growth rate and egg laying